Well, I would say that's an unexpected song. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21. Welcome to Let's Play Digital Devil Saga 2. The continuation and finale of Digital Devil Saga. Oh boy. Huh. Interesting. I'm just looking at the rele original release dates for Digital Devil Saga 2. 2005 for Japan and North America, but Europe got shafted as always, as they always should, and rightfully so, because fuck Europe. Got released in 2007 for that for them poor bitches. Okay, vibration on, yeah, memo, menu memory on, auto repeat on, camera mode normal. I swear to God, if it's inverted by default, I'm gonna be pissed. Anyway, uh, how the fuck do I? Well, obviously, fu hold on. Let me check something. Okay, good. It's no load the previous save file from load. Okay, new game. If you have cleared game data from Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga, you're entitled to various in-game bonuses. Check for cleared game save data. Now I find out whether or not all my effort was for not. Fantastic. So yeah, Digital Devil Saga, like I said, is the sequel to Digital Devil Saga 1. They cut the story in half. Or maybe like a third and two thirds, I'm not sure which. But hey, at least they brought some new changes to the sequel, so it's not completely the same. And I'm going into this blind. I see that it wait a minute. Uh heat, what what's wrong with your portrait? Why is it different? <laughs> So yeah, I'm playing uh, Digital Devil Saga 2 completely blind. Never played this game before in my life. My only experience is watching some uh, old uh, story beats from years ago. And I barely remember anything. So, hey, fresh experience, let's go. We're gonna load save file one, because I did fucking beat a goddamn angel again. This time, with having actually having defeat the Demi Fiend. By using this Digital Devil Saga save data, you'll be entitled to the following. Some rare items will become available. Bonus points will be added to character stats. Game difficulty becomes selectable. Proceed with the save data? Yes! Data transfer complete. And, for better or for worse, we're going with hard mode. Why? Because, um, the optional super boss for Digital Devil Saga 2's requirements are actually a lot easier. Just play the game on hard mode. And since I have access to this immediately, this is probably gonna kick me in the ass. But hey! Mama didn't raise no bitch. But the environment sure did. So... Archila! Wait for me! Careful, guys. Hey, Heat, don't run too fast, okay? Oh, come on! Surf and Sarah are way ahead of us! Hey, Fred. What is this leaf made out of? Data. Um, it's...
it's like people's thoughts. Data? People have always wondered about things. Questions like, who are we? Or what is this world really made of? They discovered molecules and atoms, and then they found even smaller particles. Finally, the most basic building block was so small that it could only be defined as data. You and the forest are essentially the same. It all goes back to people's thoughts. Thoughts are carried on until they return to their origins, and then... I don't really get it. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't either at your age. But now, I think I do. Where we came from, and where we're going. I'm not gonna lie, we're already starting and I'm already fucking confused. The world set on the verge of death. Science created by men who acted as gods assumed our image and betrayed its creator's purpose. Mankind signed a contract for great power and wealth. Without realizing, they had signed their own death warrant. I suppose it couldn't be helped with people wasting their minds on drinking and worse. But the ones picking up the tab had quite the price to pay. Needless to say, it was a lot more serious than paying off the barkeeper. The blazing black sun, ruins and wastelands stretching as far as the eye could see, plants withered from the corrupt data of the sunlight, and people turned to stone, trapped forever between life and death. The survivors were forced underground, far away from their old lives. The lucky few chosen by the Karma Society lived in a sanctuary formed of God's wisdom, oblivious to the chaos outside. Hell, that's what it was, hell. Find them? No, sir. Alpha team, begin a search to the south. You men, follow me. Roger. But they lived through a hell far worse than that. The Junkyard, a city of rusted iron and constant rain. I've come to help everyone. Its people lived in divided tribes and committed themselves to a never-ending war. All for a chance to reach the paradise called Nirvana. Given the power of Atma, demons, by the Karma Temple, they ended the war with gnashing teeth as enemies devoured enemies. At last, they materialized here, in this world, searching for the girl who held the key to everything. So, you're saying this dump is supposed to be Nirvana? Based on the information at hand, it's a logical conclusion. I assume the others arrived here as well. These kids, except for the soldiers, are the only people I've seen, but... I'm sure Cielo and Heat are okay. We must locate Sarah. This world and the junkyard. 
and our true identities. Sarah has answers. We'll have to take care of those guys outside first. Who are they, anyway? They just attacked without warning. <laughs> They're Karma Society soldiers, duh. Society? Don't you know anything? The soldiers come from Karma City to, you know, hunt other humans. They hunt? That's right, for food. Those bastards can turn into demons. They eat whoever they can get their hands on. And the Black Sun? The statues? Are those related to the Karma Society as well? You cannot be serious. Of course they're related. The old hag that discovered the stone disease is their boss. Savior of all mankind, my butt. Our logical destination should be Karma City. No way! You're gonna get killed! They may have captured our comrades. So we're in the same boat, aren't we? Do you know of a route to the city? Sorry, I don't. But I know a guy who does. He's kind of a loser, though. So... May we meet him? In return, we will help you rescue your comrades. If this is a trick, you'll regret it. I don't trust you adults. I thought you were fighting against the society. We are making this agreement as warriors. Why would a warrior's age be relevant? <laughs> warriors, huh? Okay. It's a deal, then. All right, I'll take you guys to Roland. Grab his wrist or question mark? Uh, I don't know. Does this affect anything? I don't know. We're going into deep end not understanding what the fuck's going on and whether or not conversations have any uh, actual meaning. Some of them probably do, but they most likely don't. Whoa, it's just a handshake. Haven't you ever shaken hands before? Um... That's Surf. He's the leader of our tribe. I'm Argilla. Mr. Personality here is Gale. Okay then. Come on, follow me, Surf. Okay, well, uh, off to a good start already. The Karma Temple and Karma Society cannot be a coincidence. Sarah and Angel are probably in Karma City. No shit. I thought we'd return to normal once we reached Nirvana. We need to find Sarah. I'm sure she could explain this. Heat and Cielo will think the same way. Do you think Heat and Cielo are okay? Well, Heat will probably just bulldoze his way to Sarah regardless. And if Cielo is with him, then he'll just make sure that he doesn't get himself killed. You're right. If we can find Sarah, I'm sure we'll run to everyone else. They'll be fine. Okay. Uh, okay, the kids. Do you have names and what can you tell me? Fred's friend. We appreciate your help, but you sure don't know much about the society, even though you can change the demons and everything. Where'd you guys come from? A virtual world called the Junkyard. Obviously. Roland's hideout is at the end of this block. We're in the society territory now, but things are still okay on the other side. Alright then, uh... I guess we'll open the door. Hello, anybody home? You don't mind if I loot all your stuff, do you? Some soldiers can be here talking. They're around here somewhere. Keep searching! Well, what do we got here? There's a box emitting light from this panel. Open it? Sure! Oh, three chakra drops at the start. Cool. This is called a kitchen. No shit. Okay, and it looks like we have a coffee machine. It does hasn't sell. Someone's been here recently. 
Well, apparently we're in the projects of New York, so I guess I can't really expect much. Occupied sector. Moa City. Fantastic. I'll look at the menu in a bit, because I really doubt we can do much of anything at all. Uh, let's see. That's blocked off. Big ass cages. I'm gonna guess these are for dissidents and, uh, the soldiers' meals, as it were. Gruesome. Again, what do you expect from a society that, uh, uses force to, uh, submit? people's desires and feelings. I'm trying to be philosophical and say something, but I'm saying the wrong words in the wrong order. Which does not help me at all. Wait, hold on. The society set up these weird machines all over the city. We haven't really figured out how to use them yet. But uh, you guys are free to try if you want. Hello, Karma Terminal. I keep wanting to say temple. Fancy! Oh, what, no cool animation? Well, I might as well save. See, everyone's at level 1 and we're sticking with the good old party. I can see mantras right now. Devour, Earth, Spirit, and Dragon. Okay. Access denied. You were unable to attain mantra. Son of a whore! All right, then. Can't teleport or restore, so might as well just leave. Save my progress. Okay, down the hallways. Hold it right there. Combat tutorial. You start running, the kids die. Get it? Tuning? Let them do whatever they want. I don't know where you came from, but there's no way you're, get you're better tuners than us. I would not advise fighting against the Embryon with such a small number. We only know the ways of the junkyard, nor do we will kill, devour, and destroy. If you do not wish to die, I suggest that you leave. Y you're mocking us! What are you b idiots going to do? Shoot us? Oh. Okay, our first fight is against Andros. Okay, so the UI's got an update. I actually like the way they redesigned the press turns. Okay, Andros, I'm going to assume you're weak to ice. No. All right, then analyze. What am I dealing with? Wow, they have Gale be set to physical at the start. That's surprising. Okay, Mad Rush or Body Rush? Uh, they're both the same, so... Mad Rush. Holy shit, new animations! Well, that was easy. Yay, level up! Surf leveled up. You have three status points to distribute. Ooh! Oh, hey, our stats are higher than they should be. Nice. Let's see, uh, 9 strength, 8 fight, ten. well that's probably why Gale hit, like, hit as hard as he did. Then again, tutorial fight, it's supposed to be easy. What do I want to make Surf into? Uh, hmm, that's actually a good question. Uh, I actually don't know what I want to make Surf into in this game. I'm not sure what's better, physical or magic, or are they both the same? Well, actually, it's probably physical because magic can't crit. Even though magic has the amp and boost skills to increase damage, but they still can't crit. Hmm. 
Oh, fuck it, I'll just... I'll just, uh... Fuck it, I'll just not look. I'll just do random. Okay, point here. Point here. And a point here. Strength, vitality, and luck. Okay, physical it is. Surf tripped on something. What luck? It was a chakra drop. Okay. Sure. Devour or be devoured. That is the rule we must live by. Judge for yourselves what kind of beings we are. Alright. <laughs> Way to go, Gale. Yeah, let's just terrify a kid. Sure, that makes sense. Oh, wait. You don't know how to deal with children. You only know how to deal with adults. And... War. Pretty much. There's a strong presence behind the door. Enter? Yes! The sound alpha, we've captured a fox. Roger, bring them to the transport. And this is no fun. Hunting's only good when they resist. We should be inside to hunt those ghosts, you know? I see. The people of this area are called foxes, and we are considered ghosts. From the way the soldiers reacted earlier, it seems not everyone knows about us. Hey, it's the ghost! Attack! Alright, now what? Oh, it's Zen, the stupid bird shithead. Oh, he found his weakness already. It's ice. Alright. What's Body Rush look like? Okay, same as the other one. Okay, so our show levels up, and Gale masters Dragon. Alright. Gale learns Zahn, and Void Force. Arjilla, Strength, Magic, and Luck. You're a monster. Somebody help me! <laughs> Later, lady. All these guys are different. <laughs> she ran away. I guess that's the way it goes. Well, no shit. Ah, eh, don't worry, we'll explain it to everyone later. We need to head straight north from here. That's where you find Roland. Come on, let's go. Sure, kid. Just make sure your pants don't fall. You have suspenders on your pants, use them, for God's sake. Oh, hey, free heal. Strange energy's floating out of the ground. Yay, fully recovered. them! We found three ghosts, two foxes in the location where Hound Alpha lost contact. They seem to be the unidentified tuners. Ghost this, ghost that, I'm sick of hearing it. We're the Embryon tribe, don't you forget. The Embryon? What are you trying to pull? Um, your arm off so I can eat it. What the fuck are you? Bugaboo? Okay! <laughs> sure! Where's Jimenez? I think Bugaboo got a makeover, and Jimenez might be pissed off about it. Oh wait, this game came be- wait. Yeah, this game came before Strange Journey. Okay, so, uh... I guess we'll take care of Kelpie first. Hey, uh, Bugaboo, what are you weak to? Let me guess, this isn't gonna tell me anything because it's the boss, mini boss. Yep. Alright, mad rush. Needle rush, ow. Ow. Might as well heal. Well, there goes Bugaboo. Hmm. I can't help but notice that some of the sound effects sound a little quieter than they should, and I'm not sure if it's an emulation issue, or it's just the sound of the game. Yeah, they made Gale into a physical guy this time around. That's interesting. Take everything an enemy has, not that just flesh and blood. Hey, a free disc stun. 
Seems they found our exact location. Fred, we need to hurry. No problem. Yeah, I just mean run faster. It's not like we can't, you know, hop over fucking fences or rooftops. No, we gotta take the streets. Oh, hello! With four of them, they're as good as dead! That was actually smart of you. Oh, now you're just being a... You cast ice on the wrong guy, you fucking dumbass. Hey, I could do that too! Try again! Let's see how you like it. Bugaboo is frightened. And I can't eat him. Not yet, anyway. Yay, we leveled up again. Magic, agility, and luck. Yay, our Jilla healed herself. That's useful. There's a box of Ming Lei in the panel. Let's open it. What's in it? Two revival beads. Okay, I'm probably gonna be using a lot of those. And now random encounters are a thing. Fantastic. Well, let's just beat the shit out of Bugaboo then. Gale's almost close to a level. Gateway blocks us off, so yeah, we gotta enter the apartments and go the long route. It's not like we can't tear it down or, you know, jump over it. No, 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 no. Am I allowed to have Mantra now? No. Okay, we gotta wait for story beats. Got it. Got it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Kind of annoying, though, but I get it. Oh, actually. Let's see. Skill. Wrong button. Set. Okay, so mantras don't carry over. That's good to know. It'd be kind of busted if they did. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you're reset back to level 1, but here's all the skills from Digital Double Saga 1. Have, f have fun. Yeah, no, I don't think that would be allowed. That would be seriously broken. Yeah, let's just have everyone be immune to everything at the start of the game. That's fun. No combos. We can change the party configuration. Ah, here we are. Config. Why do I even bother? Heal the party using the most appropriate skill. Well, it's nice to see that this is an option. Let's see. Uh, just rations, chakra drops, revival beats, this stun. Uh, can I sell bolts this time around? And we got a ring from the junkyard. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Because, you know, it's gone, deleted, destroyed. You're dead. You're dead. Gale levels up. I'm noticing that we're not getting any money. Which makes sense, considering that the Karma Ring no longer functions. Magic, Agility, and Luck. It's them! They just never stop. If you left us alone, we wouldn't have to kill you. They're heading north, just like we heard. I believe they're headed back to the nest. It's only a matter of time now. You do realize that, uh... You guys are being eaten, right? Oh no, you hit me with a bullet! Karma soldier, huh? How do you like the ice? Nice job, Argilla. Guns aren't effective, huh? Oh, hello, Palpasag. Nice miss, Argilla. At least it actually says miss. Uh... Pass. What about Zahn? Okay, just for... It's 
the last turn. Okay. Ooh. That's actually some decent damage. But it doesn't matter when you're dead. Yay, my strength went up. Strange. I don't feel as strong as I did in the junkyard. No shit. What's wrong with me? I feel weaker as well. I do not comprehend it, but there's no point in worrying. Even if we lose physical strength, the experience of the past continues to live inside of us. Let's go. It's called fucking being annoying. Also, kind of have to reset the uh, bar. <laughs> Idiot just ran past us. So it's not going the way he was running. Unless... We have to. Oh. Alright, what's in this box? Three rations! Woo! It's called a kitchen. Nope. 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 Wasn't asking that one. Nice crit. And we get a Molotov from that. Ah, we don't eat humans. We have to wait until they transform into demons to eat them. That's kind of annoying. Looks like a monitor. No, that's a TV, Surf. That's a TV. I mean, technically, with old 80s and 70s computers, TVs were used as monitors. So you're not technically wrong. Are you alright? We can help. Ah, surprise, kid! Classic ambush. You know, it probably would've been better just to hit Gale with, uh, ice... Not ice, uh, physical move, you dipshits. But since you didn't do that, you a fool. Your weakness is Zahn. You're dead. Bugaboo is frightened. He better be. Especially with that derpy look on his face when he is afraid. Gale's body is overflowing with power. Vitality increase. Okay, lady, you okay? You're a demon, but you're helping me? Surf and his friends are different. They're on our side. Thank you. I think I can make it out of here by myself. You think or you know, Blondie? You think or you know? I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to guess Roland is still up through there. But now we gotta deal with this shit. Wait, why is a G-Ray class as a nether? Whatever. Uh, Kelpie, I... Oh yeah, it's win. He says as he doesn't know and tries it anyway. Yeah, that doesn't bite me in the ass. Ah, more treasure. You know, it's nice to have a change of pace from the old Hindu, uh, stonework. To have, you know, something that looks familiar. Yeah, for some reason, the basic attack sound effect doesn't sound as loud as it should when they're starting it. Like, in the last game, you could clearly hear uh, Surf's blades come out of his arms rather clearly. You could hear, hear Argyll's arms extending, Gale's uh, knives. Huh. I wonder why it doesn't sound as loud as it should. Now I'm just going to chalk it up to an emulation bug that I do not know how to fix. Eh, it's a minor thing. It's just something that's pointed out. 
So like you may not hear it if you use speakers, but when you wear headphones, changes in sound levels that you're used to are kind of noticeable. And two more chakra drops, fantastic. All right, that one. Are we gonna be meeting Roland anytime soon or are we gonna have to continue fighting? Ah, I'm guessing he's up ahead. Don't mind if we heal. We all arrived in this city separately. I assume you've seen the sun. Would you like to see it again? <laughs> the stairs behind you lead up to the surface, but we can't go out there since the sun got screwed up. Anyone who goes out there gets the Cuvier syndrome. Their bodies turn to stone. I'm not even sure if they're dead or still alive. I hope they're alive, though. My dad, he's out there, too. Oh. I haven't seen the sun yet. When the junkyard disappeared, I suddenly woke up in the city. So far, Surf's the only one who's been walking on the surface. Oh, and Gale. You and Gale came in here in broad daylight, right? I guess demons' bodies are immune to the effects of sunlight. I'm a little jealous. Okay, so that one probably leads to the surface. I'm assuming this is the one we need to go into. Voices can be heard talking. This is a message for the unidentified tuners. We know you're hiding nearby. Surrender in human form immediately, or we'll kill the captives. Oh, soldiers don't give a damn about humans, Surf. If we don't do something, they're gonna die. Surf, you gotta help them. Sure. I just don't know where. It's like you tell me a message, but I can't see shit. Also, you know, we dealing with this shenanigans. We're so close to mastering Devour and Earth Spirit. It is re <sighs> Well, it's not. Well, it's nice to see some different. Oh wait, we already seen out before. Really, bitch? Ice shot combo was discovered. Hey, eat my bullets. Well, I figured that wouldn't work. Okay, that works. Arjula. Well, the enemies had this. Might as well put it to good use. Medical kit. Ooh, nice. Oh! Secret treasure. Now, is the thing going up or down? I think it's going up. Aha! Strange object covers the midair. Touch it, yes. What do we got? Shot shell! Okay. If I ever get to a fucking shop, wrong one. I meant to hit the item. Yeah, that's just double attack power. That'll probably be. What? The next fight is going to have a demon that's weak to bullets, isn't it? And that's why they're giving me an, some extra ammo. Ah, well. Okay, so far, the game is not difficult. Or rather, I say I haven't run into the difficulty part yet. See, Terra, Argilla has learned Terra and Void Earth. Fantastic. Let's set those immediately. Um, we don't really need Null Earth right now. Rearrange this shit. Alright. Uh, there we go. I like having magic at the front. Oh, wait, well, wait, no, that's that's backwards. What am I doing? That was fine the first time around. Okay, so where are the soldiers at? Well, Bufu and Micronova combos have been discovered. What's Micronova? Moderate damage almighty all. Well, this is overkill. Have a nuclear explosion in your face. Gale levels up again. 
Okay, so over here, basically. This is a message for the unidentified tuner. Surrender in human form immediately, or we will kill the captives. Sure, just tell me where you are. Of course, I'm assuming I'm actually heading in the right direction, and this is actually where we're supposed to go in order to talk to them, and not behind us. Wait, what am I doing? Micronova. Just Micronova! Ugh, Devour's taking so long to max out. Let's see, they're giving us another terminal. Well, let's save. This is a message for the unidentified tuners. We know you're hiding nearby. Surrender immediately, do it or the captives die. Oh, shut up, Akusa. A strong presence behind the door. Enter. Hold up. Is that the door we need to go through? Yes, it is. What's behind this door, real quick? The answer is random encounters. Hey, you guys like getting rocks thrown in your face? Oh, you don't? That's sad. Ow! You missed, bitch! The fact that we don't devour humans is kind of concerning. Oh, the hell with it. I better go take care of the freaking Nakusa right now, otherwise I'm probably going to do something completely stupid. Uh, Chakra drop, chakra drop. Argilla doesn't need a chakra drop, she's fine. You guys are pretty slippery. Oof. I think you may be dead. I don't care if you're ghost or a tribe or anything. I'm gonna interrogate the hell out of you until I find out how you became tuners. Uh, that's an easy one. Ow! How you feel about ice? Okay. How do you feel about rocks? Oh, you were talking mad shit, but you died like a bitch. Those increased stats are actually helping out a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Just blazing through this. You alive or dead, buddy? You stop ri- Wow! What the fuck is this fence made of? They snap his neck on the way to toss him, or what? There's another door. More soldiers. Get out of my face! You actually lived through that! I'm impressed, sirs! You survived a nuclear bomb going in your face. Can you survive uh, getting whipped to death or sliced apart? No? Thought so. Okay, there's a door over here. And this just leads back here. Alright. I thought it was. I thought that's what it did and looped around. I wonder if I could have looped around to the other side. Eh, it probably doesn't matter. Okay, so, so far, finally, we learned Devour and Ingest Mana. My chest is on fire. Received a rush. For some reason, Surf is happy. Thanks, I think. I was just about to open the door, you 
you fucking jackass. Well, Devour is nice to have, but it's kind of pointless right now since everyone has Master Mantras. I mean, at this point, all I'm doing is just grinding experience. So, uh, Fred, how far away is Roland still? Because this is ridiculous. This is how you and Charlie, the tuners are approaching the barrier. I need backup. Repeat, backup. You guys need more than backup. You need God to stop me at this point. Get out of my face, you trash. No, he's weak to freaking. He's weak to. Blah, blah, blah. He's weak to Earth. Good to know. Goodbye, Buckaboo. Oh. Hi, Tarask. I'm just gonna put this up just in case. You weak to Earth magic? You are weak to Earth magic. Uh, how do you feel about physical? Okay, good. Gale gains another level. You know, I don't know why everyone has different experience levels. Experience at this point. No one died. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this was the correct way to go. That that one's obviously blocked off. You know, you're annoying. Have more rocks thrown in your head. Ooh. Okay, we got a house. What do we got here? Two more revival beads. Cool. Hold on. Someone must have been here recently. This hasn't been shot, tab, blah, 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 blah. And I missed a freaking. I missed an apartment I need to go loot. And I'll be right back. Oh, sorry about that. Had to go, uh. Put some laundry in the dryer. Anyway. Yeah, I better go collect the treasure that I missed, otherwise, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, George Rasks now shows up. Great. Well, nice, uh, crit. Oh, if I had access to the Mantra Grid, using Devour right now would actually be useful. But it's not. Okay, let's go collect this. Was it actually worth it to run back here and grab, is the question. Great! I'm gonna be dealing with you all day. I can already tell. Okay, Surya so says, what's in here? A heal station. And? Motherfuckers, really? Amos really won't be dead. You do realize that uh, the more you try to kill me, the more I kill of you, therefore the less troops you have to send in my dire general direction. Because I doubt you infinitely uh, can breed. Okay, what we got? Two ice blasts. I wonder if that was necessary. But I will take the free heal. So yeah, it was technically worth to come back here, but now I gotta deal with everybody on the way out. Goodbye, bugaboo. Goodbye, Alp. Yeah, couldn't be nice enough to give me a level up while you're at it? Of course. But seriously, what's stopping us from, uh... Hang on. Do we have a... No, we do not have the ability to view things in first person, I was gonna say. What's to stop us from just jumping over the goddamn gate? Or at the very least, climbing over it. Or, you know, smash it, cut through it, 
I'm pretty sure our claws are stronger than steel. Nah, what do I know? Door on the left, and door on the right. Uh, let's do door on the left. Ow. Ow. Motherfuckers. Get out of my face. Uh, how do you feel about wind magic? Oh, you don't like it? I'm so sorry. I'll be more considerate to your feelings next time. Anyway. What's behind door number one? Well, oh, great. Okay, what's behind door number two? One of these is the correct way to go, and the other one's extra crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... Earth, no good. Gotcha. And for the record, I did look up uh, to see if uh, there was any mention of uh, Digital Devil Saga 2's uh, hard mode difficulty on the uh, Megami Tensei wiki, uh, like under difficulty or something. There isn't. That's great. That's fun. So I'm going to have to look at game facts to see if they have any information I could use. Eh, you know what? Just an owl. Just fucking attack it. Not worth using magic on this bitch. She'd be weak and useless. Okay, what's behind door number two? An item? What is it? Survey says... Medical kit! Cool. A single will pow. Really? Really? A single weak fire fairy against someone who's physical. I'm gonna one-shot you. Try again in the next life. Also, Roland, where the fuck are you, man? This is ridiculous. What's in here? Well, before I find that out, I gotta deal with the freaking, uh... Mini succubi all over the place. Go suck... Uh... Someone off elsewhere, please. I'm not interested in your advances. For one... The fur slash hair is not my thing. For two, you're too short. For three, your hair is terrible. What, I can be shallow and superficial. And have preferences towards my sex demons. I prefer Loam and Succubus, obviously. Also, Angel. But mainly Angel when she's in her, uh... Basically, her, uh... Club outfit. Let's be a little classy. When Angel's wearing her clubbing outfit. That's when I prefer my Angel. Her normal design is, uh... Alright, it's stereotypical, but it fits. But I prefer her clubbing outfit. What? If you got something to say, say it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna guess that we have to climb up the fucking ladder. And of course we do. Hey Fred, you haven't said anything. Are we even close to where we need to go? Well, I see a terminal. And a bunch of sandbags. Can I get... Something that isn't... You fuckers. Also, can I uh, apparently not uh, slightly disconnect my controller? That'd be great. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm not rubbing it up against anything that could actually disconnect it. Oh, fucking shoddy USB connection is probably the reason. Oh boy, what's in here? Anything good? A revival gem that is valuable. What's back here? Survey says Sonic Stones. What the fuck are Sonic Stones? Light force damage. Okay. 
Speaking of which. Hi, Akusa. Bye, Akusa. Wow, two physical attacks is all that's needed to kill you? You're weak and pathetic. You got nothing on your freaking Ryo Kusa Noha counterparts, that's for damn sure. God damn, that's just being fucking asinine. Okay, we're gonna save here. Now let's see, uh, do I have access to the mantra grid yet? No, I do not, so... Why do I got a feeling it's gonna unlock when we get- when we, uh, talk to Roland? I got a feeling that's what's gonna happen. And, you know what, I'll just stop here. Cause I got a feeling we're getting close to Roland. Hopefully. Which would result in, uh, probably to watching a few cutscenes and not having a save point nearby, so I'm just gonna be safe and call it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGuy21, this has been Let's Play Digital Devil Saga 2. In the next episode, we, uh, talk to Roland and see what he can do to help us. But until then, thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.